remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? An old white man with a beard walked into a bank and robbed it, then went outside and promptly began to throw the money in the air as he screamed, Merry Christmas. David Wayne Oliver, 65, was found by the cops while sitting at a nearby Starbucks coffee shop after he allegedly held up the Academy Bank in Colorado Springs on Monday afternoon. Police said he had threatened to use a weapon and left the bank with an undisclosed amount of cash. Bystanders, check this out family, you're gonna love this one. Bystanders, or at least some, grabbed the money and returned it to the bank. Now, I know some of you are probably saying, well, what's wrong with returning the money to the bank? It's the right thing to do. Nothing's wrong with returning the money to the bank if you're not struggling. But what if you were struggling? What if you didn't have two nickels to rub together? What if you were hungry, couldn't afford a sandwich, and somebody started throwing money? Would you gather the money and return it to the bank then? I wouldn't. You know why I wouldn't return the money to the bank? Because the banks are the biggest crooks ever. The biggest crooks ever make their living in the banking industry. They're always robbing the people. I feel nothing for them. Nothing at all. Now, Santa went rogue. One would say, why would Santa do such a thing? All of these kids are looking up to him. Why would he do such a thing? Well, you got to think about this. We got to go deep. We can't just think on the surface. You got to figure out some kind of way to pay for all those toys. So maybe Santa has been robbing banks all these years to pay for those toys. Because I used to wonder, man, how can Santa afford all of those toys? All over the world, every kid get a gift. Well, except me when I was little, but everybody get a gift. I just had a thought. Had dude robbed the bank in a Santa suit, that would have been gangster. I would have had more respect for him instead of calling him Robin Hood. I would have called him Robin Banks. <laughs> Here's the deal: Dude robbed the bank and went and sat at Starbucks nearby. Like he didn't have a care in the world. Like he didn't give a damn. He wanted to get caught. If you're going to rob a bank, <laughs> it really doesn't make a lot of sense to use a gun or imply that you have a gun because that's an automatic 10 years tacked on top of any recommended sentence. Not to mention that bank tellers are trained to give up the money, whether there's a perceived threat or not. Now, you didn't hear that from me. No more talk. What the haters talking about?